Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. If you're trying to diagnose your roof for Mercedes and you have the problem that your roof doesn't respond at all, the windows coming down just like in the video as you can see, but the roof doesn't do anything. Please keep watching because this might be a simple fix. Okay, here I have to remove another plastic clip from here to be able to access behind this trim and then over here behind this a little trim there is the fuse the 40 amp if i'm not wrong for the pump the convertible pump over here that i'm going to test this in five seconds okay the first thing i want to do i want to check the existence of voltage on that uh, fuse first of all by using by finding one ground it's one side showing 12.44 and the other side is showing zero but here is the issue it's not a simple replacement of a fuse because that fuse that 40 amp fuse doesn't blow up by itself there should be a reason behind it and the most probable reason is usually the pump itself okay this is the fuse 40 amp fuse i'm talking about so on the left hand side i've got the power on the right hand side i have no power these are midi fuses so they're called midi and center to center of the hole they are 30 mil long and 40 mil long overall to replace the fuse i absolutely recommend you to uh, disconnect your negative battery because removing this fuse requires you to remove all those four 13 and 10 and 8 mil nuts so you can access the fuse it said this is the old one over here and this is a new fuse and you've got the ruler beside it so a few points to mention over here in order for your pump to work those two relays should be functionals beside the pump also fuse number nine on the rear sam is the roof control unit fuse number nine which is 25 amp over here also the fuse box located inside the cabin fuse number 28 is soft roofed as well so you need to check these fuses so so far three fuses two relays got stuck and as you can see the situation over here the error message came uh, onto my screen saying visit workshop and now the roof is stuck half closed and I cannot access the, the boot lid of course because even if it opens I cannot access it but Let's go and diagnose this uh, top roof to see what's going on. Okay, as you can see, it says top in operation. We see roller bar soft top control module. Okay, system pass, no fault found.
Okay, stop mode detected, yes. Okay, I'm looking at the function requirements of the convertible top and ignition on voltage supply, okay, pump temperature, okay, no timeout from control unit UCP, yes, output are okay, position and function of the limit switch are okay, triggering of roller triggering of rollover module not active yes actuation using diagnosis not active yes component bottom left head restraint limits these are the headrest limit switch for the rear they are not active okay i found the fault over here Position and function of limit switch are okay. No. So everything gets a tick. A yes. Voltage, pump temperature, vehicle speed, solenoid valve. But the position and function of the switch gets a no. Triggering of rollover module, no. Actuation using diagnosis yes that's okay so everything over here gets a yes except position and function of switch so i have a switch that is not functioning correctly and if i go to limit switch convertible top I should be able to find a problem soft top lock left top locked limit switch no okay let's review the switches one more time soft top locked component s8411 it's not locked Convertible top lock in la catch position S8418 Yes S843 Yes One of the covers for the rear uh, lock mechanism is stuck and doesn't operate and I think there should be a micro switch behind it so first of all i'm going to fix this issue because it seems to be the most simple one okay i pulled out this stream over here and i was able to operate that cover uh, by moving it few times it was stuck before because it was uh, because of the dirt and rust but now it's operating, but as you can see, there was no sensor behind it. On the left-hand side, there is a sensor, but on the right-hand side, there is no sensor. So the problem cannot be this cover. 
And here is the cover operating smoothly now. Okay, so my diagnostic tools failed to uh, show me all the faults on my uh, roof. But here is the star shining again. So I have all these current and stored and stored faults. Uh, I am going to delete the faults and see what happens next. Okay, here is the guide for the star showing me all the switches and all the components and telling me the soft top compartment lid does not close fully, which I totally understand. Okay, what I need to do, check component S8413S1, soft top compartment cover closed limit switch using actual value. Check component again and check component S8423. So here are few suggestions. And here is the beauty of the star telling me step by step testing procedures and the actual fault code which is B1928 limit switch interlocked of soft top compartment cover remains in switched condition. So this is the actual fault code. And test sequence is switch on ignition convertible top open. Okay, here what we can do is erase the faults and then we can proceed from there. Okay, here we are down to only uh, two fault codes after erasing all the previous ones. So B1951, the status of limit switch catch position for the soft top lock is implausible. B1505, the number of blockage of the right seat belt extender is exceeded. That's not an issue, but B9, B1951 is the big issue now. Okay, here it's suggesting that the hydraulic pump might be has the relay issue which we don't have press f2 and we're back to uh, check switch 8418 soft top limit switch in catch position okay position and function of limit switch are okay no limit switch implausible yes Okay, so apparently the the top lock, the right hand side top lock above the windshield uh, was in catch position. So what I did, I operated it few times and the fault code is no longer present. As you can see, no fault code presents. And now my roof can act. Okay, so the problem was over here. Can you hear this micro switch? This was a little stuck. So there was a little debris and dust underneath this. And this was stuck like one millimeter lower than what where it should be. So what I did, I operated this uh, switch few times. And now it's working perfectly. Also over here there is this micro switch over here that you can remove from derail it from here and operate it lower and higher and then uh, see your uh, live view uh, the micro switch position live view and see if it's actually working or not. There is also another micro switch over here on the left hand side. Can you hear that? Yes. So another micro switch to make sure that it's working smoothly. 
Also, there is another micro switch on the left hand side that I would say it's the bow extension micro switch over there uh, that you can actually uh, release it from the arm and uh, operate it and see on the uh, live view of your uh, diagnostic tools if it's working functioning properly or not okay guys um, my roof started operating unfortunately I have the typical latch uh, cylinder uh, leak that I have ordered one cylinder so it's also beneficial to have a look at these uh, cylinders because these are pressed in and unfortunately we don't have the tools to actually rebuild these ones and there is also no repair kits available for these as uh, as these are not repairable by ordinary people like us unfortunately but uh, you you will be able to send your cylinders to top hydraulics for um, getting rebuilt or you can buy new or used parts of course uh, buying used parts it's not recommended without warranty so as you noticed in my case the problem with my soft top uh, issue was not a big issue so i actually only replaced one 40 amp fuse and there was little debris underneath this micro switch and i was able to operate my roof again and after replacing the seals hopefully everything will be great also there is one point you need to have these roll bars in the low position in order to operate your roof so just wanted to let you know that your roof issue might as well be a very simple fix too so don't get disappointed and keep searching and experiencing okay guys as usual thank you so much for watching and i hope this video be helpful for you